Generally speaking, if you want a car like this, you're probably going to be better off getting a Porsche Cayenne. Or if you don't like the look of that, and who can blame you, a BMW X5. If you want nothing but a workhorse, get a Toyota Land Cruiser. If you just want somebody to take the kids to school, Volvo XC90. And if you want something that can kind of do everything, what's the matter with a Range Rover? Now, you do hear it said that there's no such thing as a bad car nowadays. Well, clearly with the VW tow rag, that's not the case. They do still make bad cars. And this is interesting, because when I was a lad, we used to get our bad cars from uh, Vortberg, Polsky Fiat, <laughs> British Leyland, and other left-wing dictatorships, and they're all gone now, but you do still get them. I would like to propose, does anybody here own an Audi A2? That's a bad car. That is a bad They're car. They're not going to admit to it now. It is a bad car. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, I mean, it's made of beer tins, which is great, but the windows are too small. You yeah. can't open the bonnet. And if you put you the windscreen the wipers on, the whole thing rocks with them like that. It's, it's so light, yeah, the windscreen wiper does make it rock. But the worst thing about it is the price. Yeah. £17,000. You could buy a car for that. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Hyundai Sonata? Now, that's the same car as... Kia Magentis. Kia it's Magentis. exactly the same. By Kia Magentis, for whatever it costs, or a thousand pounds more, you can have a Hyundai Sonata. And I said to the guy from Hyundai, why is it a thousand more? And he went, oh, are well, you paying for the name? <laughs> Has anyone here got any ideas what a bad car, of a bad car? Well, a minute. Hold on a minute. A Daewoo. Which one? A Lamos. They are shocking, actually. <laughs> the problem is, is that we can't remember why they're shocking. That's just, the trouble. Just are, because it doesn't have any effect on you, it just passes you by. Anybody else? Hold on a minute. Vauxhall VX220. Out. Come on. <laughs> out. <laughs> Go on, out. Right the way out. Right the way over here. The Vauxhall VX220 is a fine car in every way. Out. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I've just driven the new Vauxhall VX220. We've got it on the programme in a couple of weeks. It's brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. Um, no one said the Vauxhall Vectra. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's come here in a turtleneck jumper and with face hair. Why is it a good car? Uh, because it'll do everything that you want it to do on the motorway if you're a rep. <laughs> I'm not a rep. Are you a rep? I'm not a rep either. Well, why the hell are you interested in the Vauxhall Vectra? What do you drive? Uh, TVR. TVR? <laughs> Has it ever broken down? Twice. What? Uh, something they wouldn't tell me about and something else. I have no idea. That's a sort of, he's interested in his engine, isn't he? <laughs> tell you what I want to do. Write down what you think is the absolute worst car on sale today, OK? Do you have music while we do this? It won't take that long. I don't mind. OK, let's have a look. God, that's amazing. What are that the chances of that? We've all written the same car.